Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So obviously if you're watching this um, and if you have seen my recent posts on Instagram or if you just know, then you know. I am pregnant. Um, oh my gosh, it feels like so weird to say that because it just like doesn't feel like it's real but it is real and i'm going to be having a baby me and my husband we are so excited we're gonna be having a baby this year in 2020 it is i think it's april <laughs> what day is it it's april 25th and i found out um a few weeks back i'll get to that but i will i'll talk about everything basically but we are due this November 2020 and it's just crazy to me. I'm honestly still kind of like adjusting to it all. We're really excited. I think honestly my husband is just like the most excited out of the two of us. And I'm pretty sure people have a lot of like questions or just like want to know what the details are because I, I mean we just announced it and um let people know but i feel like people have like a lot of the same questions like how far along what's your due date and just things like that so i wanted to just give like a general update but obviously it's a huge update so i'm pregnant and we are going to be having a baby we're going to be parents this is real life so we can get into the details right now um and i just had my snack so i'm not hungry because I was starving before I sat down and I was like, okay, let me eat something really quick and then I can make this video and just like let you know what's going on. Okay, so before I say like the day I found out and everything, which by the way, I recorded everything. I recorded myself taking the test, like not taking the test, but I recorded myself buying a test and like taking it and my reaction and everything. I recorded Domingo's reaction so we can you can see like how he reacted to me telling him I was pregnant. I also just want to keep those memories for myself, if that makes sense. But I also want you guys to come along with us on this new journey. We had actually started trying, well, here's the thing. Up until this point, which we've been married for about two years now, we got married in December of 2017. We um, never tried to have kids. And I was honestly always like, we should do things and like take time together and spend a couple years together and just like, you know just be us two because honestly i feel like it was the best decision we've like learned so much about each other and like marriage is just like a lot so you gotta just kind of soak it in so i was never really into the idea of having kids because i was like yeah we should just take this time to just be young and like travel and just do whatever we want to do and domingo had always been wanting to have kids he always asked me like if we could have a baby not like since the beginning he was kind of on the same page as me but more recently in the past year or so like in the past few months especially he's just like can we please have a baby like i really want to have a baby and it's honestly like really cute because he wants to be a dad and he's going to be a dad now but he wanted to be a dad so bad and he just kept asking so i was like not entertaining the idea whatsoever but then um i don't know i was just like why not right like and i know like you can't pick the right time to have a baby or like to not have a baby because sometimes it just happens but yeah i was just like why not I mean like we just got our house we are you know we're in a good place and I just had a change of heart so I told him I was like we can have a baby and we can start trying to have a baby that doesn't mean that we're gonna get pregnant right away because I don't know it's just not like that sometimes like it's Obviously, I've had some issues in the past. I told him, I was like, honestly, up until this point, we don't even know if it was possible to have kids because we didn't ever try. But also, I was having those like issues of not even having a normal cycle and I for sure wasn't ovulating because I just know my body and it's like clockwork and it was not. So I was like, well, I mean, now everything's regular. Everything's good to go. I know exactly when things are happening because I keep a little calendar and I'm sure everybody does, but like on my phone, I have a little calendar. And I was like, why not? That was in February that I told him, I was like, okay, we can, we can start trying to have kids. 
and literally in february i want to say is exactly when we got pregnant because i know it's tmi but i literally remember i told him like okay and then we tried maybe like twice in february and it literally happened because my last cycle was in february and then after that it never came back <laughs> so the thing is i felt like i wasn't gonna get pregnant on the first try or like within the first few months at all but i did which is crazy and so basically i had my last last cycle in february and in march i didn't get one at all and then that's when i kind of knew it was a little bit odd because i was so regular and on time literally my cycle calendar always says like one day late two days late or um two days until you start or whatever and my cycle calendar said that i was late so yeah like i said i was expecting the march period to come because i got my last one in february and my calendar said march 20 something like you're about to start and then it never happened but i remember i felt cramps my boobs started to hurt and i was like okay obviously these are the symptoms i get before i start so so i uh was like maybe it's just stress that and i honestly wasn't that stressed about everything like i really wasn't but i was like maybe i am stressed about it and like things are just running late because it was like maybe like a day late or like two days late which is like not a big deal for me so domingo literally keeps asking me because he's nosy and he's like has your period come yet have you started because like obviously he wants a baby and I'm like, you can't keep asking me. And obviously it hasn't come yet, but like, I think it's coming. So we just got to be patient because I'm like, I really don't think I'm pregnant at all. And I don't feel pregnant. The only thing I have is regular period symptoms like cramping and sore boobs and nothing else. So that was at the five days late mark, I guess you could say. He went to work that day and I was like, you know what? maybe i should just check so i went to my test took it and sure enough there it was i was pregnant and it said positive i took two different kinds on two different brand tests and i was positive on both tests so i was like oh i guess this is real like i guess i'm really pregnant and obviously i told him i recorded everything of me taking the test and telling him as well i just really wasn't expecting it whatsoever because like i said february we were like okay let's start having kids march missed the period and i was pregnant so i think it's just amazing how the body works i think that it's like amazing that we like we had that desire to be parents and we decided like okay like you know what it's a good time to start trying and then god just blessed us with the baby and i'm literally already pregnant but i am due november 28th which is really crazy because it's two days after thanksgiving but my birthday is on the 15th so it's only like about two weeks after my birthday so the, the baby comes early or late like we don't know obviously we can't tell but if the baby comes early it could be like closer to my birthday it could be like after my birthday it could be on its due date it could be on thanksgiving it could be like in december if it's the side staying in there past november 28th i really don't know what's gonna happen but obviously that's just a part of pregnancy like you don't know when you're gonna have your baby so yeah that's just a lot to take in i have been to the doctors already one time and that was my first initial checkup just to make sure that i was really pregnant which obviously i was to get my sonogram and to check my due date and it's crazy because i felt like i knew what my due date was going to be because of um just how you calculate it you calculate your last cycle and then i guess it goes based off of that and it tells you like 40 weeks from that time how far along you are so 
I literally just put it into like a due date calculator and it said November 28th and then when I went to the doctors she was like yep you're due on November 28th and that is gonna be your due date so we're sticking to the plan today I am exactly nine weeks every Saturday I turn a new week so Today I'm nine weeks pregnant and I'm still in my first trimester. Oh yeah, so let's talk about that. I'm in my first trimester, but I actually feel fine. A lot of people have been asking how I've been feeling and I have had the most ideal situation, I think, compared to a lot of things that I've heard about being pregnant. The only symptoms that I have are that I am always tired sleepy i always want to take a nap and it could be like a morning where i feel good and then all of a sudden like i'm just like drained and i just want to go to sleep and i could take like a whole nap right then and there so that is one thing is that i'm always tired your energy levels definitely are not the same but that's because you're growing like a whole entire human inside of you it's like a whole new level of like tired i don't know how to explain it and the only other thing is that i just have really sore boobs like there is no denying that that's gonna happen and if it doesn't happen to you then you are extremely lucky if there's any other kinds of symptoms that you can list i have none of them like i am just sleepy and um just have a sore sore boobs or whatever which is fine i'll take that over like throwing up all the time or like feeling nauseous i really thought that i was gonna at least get a little bit of nausea or something because my mom told me that with all three of her kids she had it but i have not had it at all like literally i have not had a single day of nausea and i've not thrown up not once and I would like it to stay that way, but we'll just see because anything's possible. Like it could happen at the end of the pregnancy. It could happen like tomorrow, but yeah, I've been getting plenty of sleep. I feel like the other, the other night I slept for so long. I think it was last week. I slept for like 11 hours. I went to bed at 10 and probably didn't wake up until like nine the next day. So yeah, that just shows how tired and exhausted that you can get and that I've been. Like one day I was at work and I was sitting there at the desk and I was like, oh my gosh, you need to wake up and get your life together because you're not about to fall asleep at work. Which I know that sounds really bad, but that's how tired I, I felt. And that's after getting like normal hours of sleep, not staying up late or like waking up extra early or anything like that. But yeah, it's crazy. I felt confident enough to announce everything after the doctor's appointment and hearing the heartbeat, which by the way, I have a video clip, which I will totally insert for you guys if you wanna see that. Yeah, I'll probably insert a video clip right now of the babies. Um, my first ultrasound and the baby's heartbeat because it was so cool and um, I do have like a little tiny video of that but I didn't really like record anything else because Domingo actually wasn't allowed to come with me to my first doctor's appointment obviously because nobody's allowed to really go into the doctor's offices right now unless they're a patient or into the hospitals like they're not allowing allowing visitors into the hospitals and um so basically for safety reasons i had to go to the first appointment alone so i did record that and i will show you a video of the baby's first heartbeat because it's so cool <laughs> everything looks good heart rate's in like the 160s which is exactly what we expect yeah, so a little head, arms, feet, it's a whole little person in there. I have a feeling that it could be a, a girl and Domingo has a feeling that it's a boy and we both obviously have no idea. So we'll see what, uh, we'll see what it ends up being like whenever we can, whenever we can find out what the gender is. But yeah, so what do you guys think? Comment down below and let me know if you think it's a girl or if you think it's a boy and we'll see who's right if you have any other questions for me you can leave it in the comments below 
I don't think that I have anything else to share with you guys, but I did want to update you guys on what's been going on. I can't wait to bring you guys along with me. My next video will definitely be the video of me finding out that I'm pregnant on camera for the first time ever. Fully shocked, guys. I was really shocked. So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that I have to update you guys on. I hope you guys are staying safe and I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, don't forget to subscribe before you go so that way you can stay connected and see all of my upcoming videos. And don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.